Hey guys, what's up? This is Rocky Games back with another tutorial. Today I'll be talking about trigrams. So if you have not seen the previous video on bigrams, I highly suggest that you first watch that and come back over here. Anyways, uh, in tri trigrams will be somewhat similar. It is uh, it is the same thing, but uh, it's it's like uh, the the names just change from bigram to trigram. So first off, what you do is uh, get into Python and then import uh, NLTK dot collocations. So uh, let's say from NLTK dot collocations, you need to import something called trigram collocation finder. So this is similar to the bigram collocation finder that we had in the previous video. And what you do is uh, also say uh, from the NLTK dot metrics, you need to find you need to import something called trigram measures. So it is uh, trigram soft measures, just like uh, bigram soft measures. And after this, what you do is uh, you need to import a text file for uh, usage. So uh, before importing the text file, what you need is uh, a web text. Web text will give you all sorts of text files to use. So what you can do is uh, you can say text words uh, uh, is the set of words which exist in uh, the particular file. So so I'll just create an array uh, saying w dot lower for w in web text dot words uh, at uh, let's say we'll take grail dot text. This is the Monty Python Python and the Holy Grail text uh, file. So we we take that file and then we then create a finder function. So the finder function works like this. So what you do is finder is equal to trigram collocation finder. And you say from underscore words, and then you supply the words that you just created. So it will be the text words. So this is your finder function. So after finder, uh, you can say it is like kind of like a finder object or you know a finder struct. So after that, what you do is you need to also get something called uh, uh, you can you can uh, give some kind of filter for it. But without the filter, let's run it and let's see what happens. So let's say I say finder dot n best, and then I I give it the trigram sock measures dot likelihood ratio, so just like previous uh, likelihood ratio, and I just say ten. All right, so that should give us a lot of words. So you see over here, we get a lot of uh, trigrams, but none of it makes much sense because it has you know stuff that we don't want we have a lot of square brackets over here so what we do is we need to apply some kind of filter so for that filter to be applied we need to create an anonymous function using a lambda function so it's pretty simple so what you do is uh, you first uh, import something called stop words that i spoke about in the fourth video so after that you can create a set of words called ignored words so uh, how we define that is we just say stop words dot words and then English is the language. So if you're working with some other language, you can give that. And uh, how you create uh, the function is up to you. So you can say filter stops is equal to lambda uh, w in such a way that the length of the word, which is w, is less than three. You can give it four as well if you were, uh, if you want to refine your search and and or, or it's, it's, it's or it's actually or uh, w is in ignored underscore words so what happens is if if it has a length either lesser than three or uh, the word belongs to our ignored set of words uh, it will actually filter that out and give us only the uh, ones which pass the filter so what we do is uh, after that uh, we need to apply this filter so what we do is apply underscore word filter word underscore filter and we say filter stops we just uh, pass this function so now we are set and when we search for uh, finder dot n best trigram as of me measures uh, we need to pass in the likelihood ratio so yeah so I say something like 10 all right so as you can see over here we have a better refined search right now so we have uh, clock, 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 and mumble, mumble, squeak, squeak, all these things. So, uh, so these are the trigrams which are quite uh, 
you know, uh, they are available quite a lot in the text file of Monty Python and the Holy Grail. So we'll be able to see these trigrams appear quite a lot in common. So that is how we are able to get this. So we can increase our uh, set of words as well. So we can say 30. So we get the top 30 trigrams. So there is Sir Robin Ran and uh, Sir Robin Road and all these things. So also what you can do is you can apply something called a frequency filter. The frequency filter will uh, apply in addition to the word filter. So what it does is, uh, let us say you want to uh, find trigrams which which appear at least thrice. So what you do is you just say apply frequency filter instead of word filter and give a value of three. So let's see what we get when we search this. So as you can see over here, we have, uh, you know, uh, a lesser, uh, even, even though I have passed 30 as the argument, second argument, I get lesser than 30 because there are very few which actually occur thrice. So we have good sir, knight and all these things which, uh, which appear at least thrice. So that's how we can uh, keep, uh, you know, we can search for trigrams and we can know which ones are uh, used a lot. So if I pass the top five, if I want the top five, I, I can see over here, clop, clop, clop to occur quite a lot of times. And it uh, because it passes the filter of frequency filter as well, I am pretty sure it must occur more than thrice. Okay, so yeah, uh, that's it guys. So for this uh, video, so yeah, so that's it for this, uh, you know, video on uh, trigrams. So I'll be talking about much more other stuff in the coming video. So stay tuned. And also uh, just uh, do me a favor by liking the video and also subscribing to my channel. Also share it with your friends if you liked it. All right guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.